life, love, and pop pop culture. Hey guys, so I'm at a party that these guys are putting on. And we get to interact with Becca Tilly and Jojo Fletcher from The Bachelor. And I'm super excited. She's a really big fan of The Bachelor franchise. Let's see how the night goes. Hi. How are you doing? Great. Lovely. So you have a lot of big fan club here. What were some of your least and most favorite things about being on The Bachelor and The Bachelorette? She is my favorite. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, the show, it's, we always talk about, it's so fun being, if you, if you go with the right mindset, it's so fun being on The Bachelor. The best time of <laughs> our lives, I think. Yeah. And everyone asks, like, would you recommend someone to go do it? Like, it, you know, so many bad things can happen, I and mean, you can ruin your reputation, and you can make a fool of yourself. Unless you're a total psychopath. <laughs> and there have been some. <laughs> and there have been some. But you should know that about yourself already. <laughs> but unless you're a total psychopath, I recommend doing the show because I have found one of my greatest friends I'll have in my entire life. And I found the person I'm going to marry. And I so many amazing things have come from the show and experiences that you will never get to try and experience again. Mm -hmm. And the best memories I've ever had in life. Are from the show. Oh it's pretty That's amazing. Right. Yeah. I have a question about Ben. <laughs> <laughs> if it would have happened, do you think it would have worked out? Do you think it would have went on? This is a weird question for me to answer because I'm very happily engaged and in love. Okay, you want me to answer? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to answer. You can answer. No, I, but I, I feel this way about you as a person. I feel like Ben is an amazing guy and I, I obviously think the world of you. And I think that y'all had a very great strong connection like it was very obvious and being someone who was dating him as well I was like he doesn't have that with me <laughs> and so there was definitely that connection I think Jojo is very good in just relationships friendships she's very you're good at them I, I, I work hard at relationships I think that's the thing that has been a very um great quality of mine but it's also been a weakness of mine at times is that I stayed in relationships that I haven't I shouldn't be in because I wanted relationships to work so much. So I think that maybe for that reason, I would have stuck, stayed in a relationship. But I feel like I've grown so much from that. And I, I will say, even just the show in general, I am a, such a different person now than I was before I ever was on the show, just from all the things that I've learned, the things that you go through. And I feel like I've definitely grown way more independent and way more confident in myself as a woman. And, um, so that was the benefit that came out of it, but just in general, I think that probably would have been the reason why yeah. it would have worked. All right, shifting gears a little bit because this wouldn't be a complete interview unless I asked about wedding. <laughs> 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 Let's talk about it. Let's <laughs> talk. What do we got? We got dates. Well, I'm already married. <laughs> Not ready for that. Um, no, I don't have a date yet. It's, I feel like I let people down every time I give them this answer because I know it's uh, it's really the only question people really care about. Um, but we don't have a date. Uh, we actively talk about our wedding, though, as though there is a date. So it's weird. Like, we've just talked about our groomsmen and bridesmaids the other day and and how his work schedule is going to play into the wedding. And then I sit back and I'm like, we don't even have a date. Like, it's all we do everything backwards in our relationship. We get engaged and then we date. We plan our wedding and then we set a date. Um, but no, we're really enjoying life. We've been so busy and he's been so supportive and his his career has taken off and I'm just so proud of him. So um, when the moment's right and, and it feels perfect and it'll happen, you know? Yes. What would your ideal wedding look like? Are you thinking big, small? It would probably end up being big just because I have such a big family and, and oh my gosh, my mom's brought to the family that, you know, <laughs> that's a whole thing in general. Um, we thought you'd probably go outdoor. We love greenery. We love, um, I would like to have a wedding in the fall. That's not going to happen because he works in the fall. Um, so we're just figuring out some kinks there, but um, <laughs> let's just know, too busy. <laughs> and would you like it filmed? Um, to be honest, when we, when we first got asked this question, it was something that we weren't very gun-ho about, just because it's a very intimate moment, and I've seen how some of these other weddings that are televised play out, and it, it didn't feel authentic to me. 
Um, and so I would never sacrifice that moment for anything in my entire life. So if there was a way that I could have my own wedding and it'd be exactly what I want and a way to share with people, absolutely. But if I meant that I had to sacrifice it, probably not. Would you be open to being the bachelorette? I would have. <laughs> I am afraid. I am laughing because I just feel like I know your answer. What's my answer? I feel like you would not do it. At Why? All. Why do you think that? Just because I'm too lazy. <laughs> and that's the type of person they can fake liking someone. Okay, and that's true. It will be all across your face. I'm like, I'm like, I'm actually avoid 90% of the whole situation. <laughs> and so she would struggle. I it's would struggle. I watched my old episode the other day and I struggled a little bit emotionally. No, I'm saying you trying to like force yourself to like that many people. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'd really struggle because I love to sleep and I don't, I do have a hard time. Like, if I'm not into someone, I'm just like, I'm not done. done. And, yeah. if, and if the producers are like, you, like, you, you, know, you have to go on a date with this guy or you have to kiss him and be like, Meh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to make it. Yeah. It's not easy. It doesn't feel organic. No, and everyone would be like, wow. She and she is puts not. her foot down too. Like, I'm more of a pushover and I follow the rules. I'm a rule she follower. She is such a rule follower. It drives me crazy. And I hate that about me. <laughs> I, like, I also get anxious when I do bad things. <laughs> no, I, I like, I brought my phone on the second season. I snuck a phone on onto a fit season. And I would just like, <laughs> whoa, my mouth is dirt. Oh, fair enough. No, but then, okay. then you taught me to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I would, I had it, and she was the only person who knew. She's like, <laughs> and she'd go to the bathroom and make this whole scene. I'm like, just be discreet. <laughs> Don't get me caught. Did I do that? Yes, you emailed someone. Well, then. Your dad. Oh, my dad. Yeah. Um, but then she was like, okay, here's the game plan. You're becoming the bachelorette. I need you to sneak in a phone so we can talk. <laughs> so I get an iPad and a phone. So I'm like, oh, we're doing this. I'm breaking rules. Like, within the first two days, my iPad was gone, and I got so anxious. But then I still had my burner phone. And I had it tucked away. You never used it. Because I didn't want to break the rules. <laughs> I never used it. And she got so pissed. I came back. She was like, not a single desk. Not a single desk. I'm like, I, why I don't need do that? reality Steve, see where you are. So I was going to say, no, maybe not The Bachelorette. How about Bachelor in Paradise? <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that's all the time we have for the Q&A. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.